Good morning, beautiful beings. It's November the 7th. Though, um, remember, they don't matter. And you see, that just flashed in my head, November the 7th. That was the, the day we was rear-ended. Yeah, I had to remember that date. November 7th, uh, 2003. November 7th, 2003 was the motor vehicle accident. The rear impact where my neck went back so far, I could see out the back of the, the back window. And my Liam was in my belly and he came out the 22nd. So his birthday's coming, set set, and now Liam's is coming on the 22nd. So yes, this is actually the date. 15 years ago, that accident and the pain has been increasing ever since. Tightening and then all the emotional stuff. A lot though, I think, right? It's my spiritual beliefs. It's helped to draw me into my body because I spent most of my life not wanting to be in my physical body. You know, for many reasons, I guess. So, emotional day. Woke up to the memory in my my tablet. It was uh, four years ago that my eldest graduated from high school. Five years ago, he met his girlfriend. They just celebrated their fifth anniversary. Anyways, I don't see him and I haven't seen him. It's been a long time. <sighs> yeah. His own choice, too. That's okay, right? Hey, he grew up. He's his own man. He makes his own mind. So let's call in all the directions. The east. The south. The west. And the north. Fire, water, earth, air. Mental, emotional, physical, spiritual. We go from the south. Discovering our new abilities in this physical body to the north and the wisdom years. All right, where we learn to retreat, that there is that power in that retreat. We don't have to keep active, 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 active. There's time to retreat, rest, and relax. Times in our wisdom years, right? We've done all the work for everybody else. Now it's time to go within and work for ourselves now. And then we return to our innocence in the east. And to the west. That's the, the, the path of the sun. That's the blue road. <sighs> and to the right giveaway, we're thankful. Place of the woman. It's actually the receptive energy. Yet yeah, we give, we give, we give. We're kind of backwards on that. We need to balance that out. Learn to receive as much as we give. Above, we did above, below, and with me. And I feel all that loving support here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And I will share, maybe on my Within Wednesdays. There's lots going on. There's so many choices, and that's good. Love him, love him, love him. Always will. It's the first one, right? Made my biggest dream come true. Made up a little song for him too. That's a tough part. Because for me, that was my biggest dream. To be a mom. My first number one passion to be able to help make a difference in the world, to bring more peace and love in it. At least in my own. And he's an amazing, loving, peaceful boy. Like, I'm amazed. I always called him my powder when he lost all of his hair. Anybody see that movie, Powder? Because he's got a special energy, too, my boy. But he's not mine. 
doesn't belong to me. He never did. He's on his own journey. Whew, okay. Hmm. Big witch on my relations. Loving guides and angels for all of us. Anybody going through times like this. Right? They're switched as part of life. The natural changing. You know, appreciating the time that we did have with the people. All right. And it's there. You know. And I hope above all, no matter what, I just hope that he knows how much his mom loves him. And always will, no matter what. And that if he ever needs a mama bear hug, he always knows where to come. And that would always be the first thing he ever got from me. It's a great big hug. Hard because I think it's the longest it's ever been that I've seen his face or been able to give him a hug. All righty. That's for the Within Wednesdays. Look, we're almost doing that. I thought about maybe doing that first and then doing the cards. But let's do <sighs> the cards. The daily path. The life lessons for today. The main life lesson today. It's here. It's here. Okay. And do the right thing. Female and left. I'm doing them all together now. Then I'll get out my books and that's what we'll do. Okay. Left, right, man, woman. Okay, get out the books and see what we got. We can stand them up nice, right? Okay. Oh, my belly is just so off today. Sorry. Appointment day with Liam. We'll get him a little bit later. Um. There we go. Not to remember, we'll get blood work. The daughter, daughter, the daughter ordered blood work. The doctor ordered blood work. It's regular, regular checkups. I need to go back to um, advocate for myself, you know. I went to see a neurologist when my got scan and they detected the um, spondylosis, right? But then in my brain, there's a dead spot. And they said, oh, it's in the gray matter, so it doesn't matter. But how did it get there? Right? So. We'll see. We'll see. I'm learning to advocate for me, to speak up. Because I'm the one that's got to live with it, right? Oh, I don't want to make a doctor feel bad or whatever, right? I got to live with it. So, to help me have understanding, not to have an excuse, but to have understanding of what I'm dealing with and to not be so hard on myself. Anyways, so today, main message, the roots in the giving. Remember where we came from? There's that story of the giving tree. It's very sad. But he gives, gives and gives and gives to the boy. All its leaves, all its fruits, all its branches, everything till it's just a stump. And then it's a place for that old man to come back and sit. But we are the roots we can give our children and we hope that they grow and flourish, right? To be on their own, right? Raise them to be independent as well as us, right? That inner wisdom. And we know deep down on some level they do not belong to us they're their own individual peoples so as hard as that is for us for months right we carry them so long they do feel like so much a part of us and we are all connected right so there we feel that deepest connection to the truth of that we all are connected like that right it's our true mother is mother earth for us all right So, deep down we know that. Deep down. We are all at some point going to pull away from our parents and caregivers to do stuff on our own. Because we need to take our own journeys to the ocean and take our own journeys back to the rivers. 
to have that life continue. Oh, we can appreciate that roots and always remember that where we came from and we're all part of that divine original source and we will always return back to that, right? You know, it's something I saw on Facebook or somewhere and it just showed all the dead salmon on the way up but said this might look yucky but this actually, you know, fertilizes the soil and makes it better. So even the dead bodies are helping, right? They're establishing the roots. They're still nourishing the new growth and the new life. So on our female side, right, to tap into that truth, that is our protection, that, that we are all one. The truth that we are all on our own journeys, right? We can delude ourselves or get caught up in the fantasy that these are my children. They're mine, 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 and claim them, but they are not ours. They're their own free will beings. That's the truth. And we have to give away that need to be needed, right? We need to teach them the self-reliance. That's the truth of it, right? Otherwise, they're not going to build that confidence in themselves. So, yes, great. If they're coming back to us and coming back to us, but is it because they can't do it for themselves? Have we not given them that confidence to do it for themselves because we don't have the confidence? To be us without having to be a mom or this or have a title just to be right think about that think about that are you doing things for your children because they cannot do them for themselves or are you doing them to help yourself feel better that's a hard look we can take out of ourselves as, as as parents right you think okay i did it all Right? I thought we had such a special bond. I really believed. I didn't want to believe my mother saying that poem. Oh, your son, your daughter's your daughter for the rest of your life. Your son's your son till he takes a wife. Right? I'm like, no, it doesn't have to be that way. And uh, I still don't believe it's that way. Right? But he's his own man. He's making his own choices. Right? So we can believe, oh, I got this special connection. He's always going to come back. Right? But... He doesn't have to. I love him anyway. My job. To get him to adulthood. And give him those tools that he needs. So when you look at it that way, as the mom, my job is done. Right? He doesn't need a, a parent anymore, right? He can parent himself, really. Oh, well, that's a tough one. I know I'm not the only mother to, to go through that. All of us mothers are going to go through that at some point in time. Right? Where we have to give it away, release, release them. They're going to fly. Right? And our male. So the actions that we can take. Right? We accept the truth. Nurturing ourselves now. Right? Maybe we get lost in that because... You know, we keep giving it away when this is the receptive. So we've been giving away that nurturing when we should be receiving that nurturing, giving that to ourselves. That's self-care. So now as our nest empty, we have that self-care. You know, in, in, in the weaving, right? We help to weave, but they're, they need to make their own, right? We teach them how to weave their own webs, how to catch their own foods, you know, how to take care of themselves. That's the action. And now we need to take care of that selves. How do we get tangled up in those hopes and dreams that we were dreaming for our children? When we don't have any right to dream a dream for our children. That's their, It's up to them to dream that dream. Right? We cannot make up for the things that we didn't do as children through our children. They're their own beings on their own paths, living their own lives. And it is up for us to do that. For ourselves to live our own lives. Right? To tap in that we are human beings too. And nurture ourselves. Giving it to ourselves because we gave it away to others. So the action. To nurture yourself. Okay? And no. And no. We can weave those webs that catch our dreams. We can weave those webs that get us tangled in our nightmares. Take that time to nurture yourself reflect and receive 
know that truth. They are their own beings. We are our own beings. We are all humans beings, all being human, all here for our own purposes, our own lessons, but all for that common, common goal, expansion of all. So, you have a wonderful, blessed day. Look at that, see how that's a reflecting each other. We gave away our nurturing, now it's time to give it to ourselves. Right? Much love, everyone. Biggest heart hugs ever. Thank you for being you in all that you do. And I see you. Because your light is my light. And my light is yours. I love you. Thank you. Thank you for being you. Amazing being. Peace.